For the first time in more than two decades, Ontario's English Catholic teachers are engaging in full scale, all across the province, one day strike. I'm Christina Howarn, and this is just the latest in the increasing impasse between the government and the teachers. Now we know that all elementary, high school, and English Catholic teachers are escalating their job action. The government has left us with no choice but to take the next legal step in the bargaining process. Therefore, I'm announcing today that Ontario's Catholic teachers will be implementing a province-wide, one-day, full withdrawal of services on Tuesday, January 21st. Talks between the union and province broke off last week with the union representing 45,000 English Catholic teachers beginning an administrative work to rule today. But the reality is that teachers are the last line of defence when it comes to stopping this government's reckless education agenda. We will not stand by and let this government continue on a path that will have such devastating long-term consequences for our students and our schools. At issue are many of the same concerns raised by public high school and elementary school teachers, compensation, but also increased class sizes from grades 4 through 12, mandatory e-learning courses for high school students, and more. We will also not commit to maintaining Ontario's world-class full-day kindergarten program. As recently as November, Minister of Education Stephen Lecce told the media he was committed to keeping the program in its current state. However, the union says the government has not made that same commitment at the table. High school, elementary and Catholic school teachers say they'll stand down if resolutions can be reached or meaningful conversations can be held at the bargaining table. We need the teachers unions to stay at the table and to negotiate in good faith and stop hurting kids, which is the direct uh, impact of all these escalations. Further escalation is not going to help get a deal. It's going to frustrate the process, and I don't think that would be particularly constructive. Now, to add to all of this, French school teachers announced that they will be engaging in a work-to-rule action effective Thursday. Now, late today, the Minister of Education issued a statement saying that he was disappointed with recent developments and says he says that the government is committed to putting students first.